Yeah, so Grayson, why are you wearing your costume this morning? Because because my teacher said so to put my costume to school. Yeah, why are you wearing your costume to school? Because we're going to have a harvest party and Port's going to have a parade. <gasps> Ooh. Do treat for us, uh, what? I want waffles. Porter is very jealous of Grayson and his plain waffle, and he wants one too. But I just made waffles yesterday, and Porter told me he hates waffles. I want a waffle. Okay, let me put one in the toaster. These kids, I swear, every morning for breakfast, Porter, I tell them what I'm making, and it's always something different. Pancakes, waffles, muffins, um, jelly toast, French toast sticks. And every morning, Porter says, I hate that and refuses to eat it but i usually eat waffles in the morning i don't know why i just really like them and the kids always want my waffles so i gave one to grayson because he already ate his breakfast and fine if you're still hungry i'll get you a waffle porter of course being a younger brother wants his waffle too so now i have to make more waffles for porter these kids. But anyway, happy Halloween, you guys. It is the last day of October. I'm so sad about it because people are already starting like all the Christmas and the holiday commercials and music and memes. And I'm still in denial that <laughs> fall is ending, even though like it gets dark at like six here. I'm just in denial that October is ending. But we're gonna have a fun day today. Yep, it's cooking right now. You gotta wait for it to go pop. Okay, watch the toaster. As you saw, Grayson is wearing his Mario costume. He gets to wear his costume to school today. They're having, well, they're calling it a harvest party. Apparently, they have to call it that because not everybody celebrates Halloween. I don't know. I went to a Catholic school growing up, and so, like, we didn't, we didn't, like, worry about offending people. We just did the holidays <laughs> i don't know but i think everything's a little more like pc nowadays and so they don't want to offend people that don't celebrate Mommy. halloween so it's a harvest party so grayson is having a harvest party today they're having parents come in to volunteer and help out they're having halloween snacks and halloween games and actually porter is gonna do a parade halloween parade at school i would yeah. say it go ahead if Every string is hard. Yeah, so Porter, he's not wearing his costume, but we're packing it in his backpack so that he can put it on at preschool. His parent, his teachers are going to help him put his costume on because they don't want him to get it all dirty because they're just going to put it on at the very end. So Grayson has his on. Porter's is going to put his on. And then here's little Avery Brin. Say hi. Avery has her my first Halloween shirt on. I want to say it. And she's going to dress up as Princess Peach and this cute little trick-or-treat bag of which that says Avery. Yeah, we got Avery a new Halloween basket with her name on it. It's that witch one. But this is Avery's first Halloween. Yeah. Fun fact, this is actually a hand-me-down from Grayson because Grayson and Avery were born basically at the same part of the year. So Grayson's holiday things fit Avery. It might look a little boyish, but uh, it's pretty much gender neutral. So Avery is celebrating her first Halloween. Also, Avery turned seven months old yesterday, so I took some pictures, and I will input them here. I cannot believe she's seven months old. I feel like I blinked, and she turned another month. Like, it seriously feels like she just turned six months, like, a week ago. I don't know where this month went, honestly. October was so busy for us. But yeah, so we did that yesterday. Also, a couple days ago, we went and carved our pumpkins. We all just got together at my mom's house and carved pumpkins. It was rainy and yucky weather outside, so we had to go inside, which was kind of a bummer, but that was all right. We had the plan of just carving Avery's pumpkin. I had to put her in a pumpkin, of course. You always do that with baby. But with Grayson and Porter, in the past, we've always gotten away with just um, painting their pumpkin, but they insisted on carving their pumpkins this year. So they drew the designs on their pumpkin and then Anthony went ahead and carved it for them. And so they loved it. 
Love their pumpkins. Yeah. We got Avery in the pumpkin. She loved it, you guys. She went to town on her pumpkin. She was trying to eat it. She's teething and drooling like crazy every day. So she, that pumpkin probably felt so good on her gums. Okay, I just realized we are... It's about that time to go out and wait for the bus. So I will pick this camera back up. Gosh, maybe when I get back from um, dropping Porter off at school because... Tuesdays and Thursdays are just a little crazy with trying to get both the boys to school on time. Okay, I am back. Well, it's actually been several hours. You guys, I have no time today. I'm not going to be able to talk too much on this camera. I just, oh, I've got a million things going on. So I dropped, well, I dropped Porter off at school. Gray got on the bus. Avery and I, she took a nap. We ran to the grocery store, picked up groceries. We're hosting tonight. All my siblings and my parents, well, all the siblings that live in town. And my parents are coming over to do trick or treat. So I grabbed like some chips and I grabbed some pumpkin spice cookies. They're like the ready to make ones. You just pop them in the oven. Never tried them before, but thought try it. we could try them. I was looking around for like the cookies that have the pumpkin like um print on them i don't know how to describe it but you probably know what i'm talking about i think it's from pillsbury but they only had turkey ones and i was like no it is not thanksgiving so didn't get that got the pumpkin spice ones instead they don't have a pumpkin on them but they do look orange so we'll try them out um and then i think my parents are going to bring over pizza for dinner for everybody but i don't have much time i'm trying to top avery off with some milk and then we got to leave in like five minutes because porter is in a little parade at preschool grayson did this the past two years and now it's porter's turn and he's very excited that i'm coming to see him in his parade i know grayson was excited when i came too i have to go and since avery is awake i will take her too and we will go and watch Porter. So I will um, vlog that when I see him. I'll pull the camera out. But it's just crazy, crazy because we're going to go do this. Then we got to get home. I got to feed the boys. Gray's going to get off the bus. And then I immediately have to go and leave and take Avery to her next helmet appointment. They're going to, I think, take pictures this time so we can compare how her head looks now compared to when we first started. Um, and I do think they're going to talk more about her needing a second helmet, which... Anthony and I still haven't really decided what we're going to do. We're kind of waiting for these pictures to see how they look. We're kind of on opposite stances for it. I think we shouldn't do a second helmet because of the cost. And Anthony thinks we should because this is the only time that we'll be able to do it if we were going to do it. So we'll see what they say today. i um, not sure if I'll bring out the camera, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And then, of course, we get back. I need to clean this house because it is a hot mess and everyone's coming over and it... It looks messy, so I hope I can get it all done. Pray for me. For the halloween party this and this is what the boys have already collected from the three trick-or-treats we've done already we don't even need to go trick-or-treating tonight this is like my largest bowl and they filled it ah <laughs> so yes i have candy for everybody to snack on of course i got some chips because those are always good i also got french onion dip because i love dipping Lay's chips and French onion dip, so good. And then we have some leftover Halloween cotton candy. Maybe people will want. The kids got like some um, Halloween cookies when they went trick or treating at Anthony's office. So we have those. And then this is what I'm giving out tonight for when trick or treaters come to our house. I thought it just had the best variety of candies, suckers. Um, and then some chocolates and then also um, gummy bears. So got that, got the big bag. Not sure how many kids we're gonna get. We had a good amount last year, but last year was really good weather. So we'll see, but I just got a ton of candy. Hopefully we go through all of it because I don't want any of this candy. Obviously we already have 
enough and we're about to get a ton more tonight. I'm very interested to see how long the boys last tonight. Porter, I don't think he'll last too long. Avery, we might just take her to one house just to say she did it. She's not gonna care. It's really Grayson. Um, last year he wanted to keep going and didn't want to stop. So we'll see how he does tonight. Again, last year was a lot nicer weather. The high today was 45, so it's just gonna get colder. But I wanted to update you guys on Avery's helmet appointment. I didn't get any video there. It was a long appointment, but there's just never really a good time to get a video. Actually, if I can input it here, I will. I have a video that they sent me of Avery's head shape because we took updated pictures comparing now to when we first started the head. Um, shape. So if I can figure out how to get that video onto this video, onto this vlog, I will do that and input that here. All right. So up on the screen here, the picture on the left is Avery before we started. And then the picture on the right is the photo that we took today. So I'm just going to gray this out, um, flip it down here. Um, so like I was talking to mom today, you know, we have some indenting down here, some flattening underneath here, um, and then a lot of in utero angles and indenting kind of all the way around the head here. She's done a really excellent job of blending and filling through all of those angles all around this right side of the head. Um, we still have some asymmetry here on the left side, with the majority of that sitting down at the low skull base there, you can still see some of that indenting. Um, so I'm going to flip it down so we can take a peek from here. So again, she's made really nice progress filling all the way through here. This right here, so if I kind of tip it here, that angle there is where that um, indenting is still there and flattening as well. And so we're talking about that today. That's really what's going to drive a lot of our ear and facial asymmetry. So that's why this ear and this um, cheek are still farther forward. Definitely an improvement though in the ears. She had some indenting in the middle of the forehead um, and over on this left side of the forehead and she's done a really good job blending through all of those areas. She's getting nice filling through the forehead, just the facial asymmetry that we can still see along with the ear. I'll show you really quick from the profile here. She's just gaining some really nice length back here. She's got a nice occipital shelf already. Um, but if I kind of rotate her a little bit, you can see where we were indented here and that that's improving. This down here is the neck, but we want this part of the skull to be nice and curved. Um, so yeah, overall, really, really nice progress. But anyway, it was actually a really good appointment. Great, amazing news. She has made so much progress just in the past two weeks and overall that they are now reconsidering the fact that she might need a second helmet. So depending on how the next couple weeks go, depends on if we will graduate or have to move on to a second helmet. Her head is rounding out so, so well. You can see she had a big dent in the beginning and that has rounded out really well. The only thing now is her ears are still um, off. They have some asymmetry and she also has some facial asymmetry too. So they're gonna wait four weeks um, and then they're gonna take pictures again, and then that will be the deciding factor of if she'll need a helmet, another helmet, or if we'll be good. So this is crazy because if you saw my last helmet update video, you will know that um, they were like, oh, she's for sure gonna need a second helmet, and that totally took me off guard because I didn't think we'd need a second helmet. Um, and so it's like a complete 180 of, well, actually you might not need a second helmet. So it was great, amazing news. They said Avery is an overachiever. They said, keep up the good work, which is great. They say you're doing awesome, which is great to hear. They did say that her neck was looking a little tight, um, which I've always noticed that with Avery, but I didn't know if that was just like in my head or if that was actually true, but they said it does seem like she's tilting her head to the right a little bit so they gave me some neck stretches to do with avery just a couple times throughout the day to try to stretch that neck so that it doesn't harm um, all this progress we made with her head so more things to do with avery she's just high maintenance i guess but um yeah overall it was a great appointment we'll go back in two weeks um to get another um helmet check and shave out originally they were saying we have four weeks left in this helmet but they're going to try and see if they can stretch us to six weeks so we will see 
time will tell how it goes. But yeah, anyway, it was really great. Also went to Porter's Halloween parade, as you guys saw, and he did awesome. He loved it. It looked like he was scared, but I asked him, like, were you holding the teacher's hand because you were scared? And he was like, no. I was like, mm, okay. He loved it. He was so glad that Avery and I went and saw him and cheered him on. It was fun seeing him walk in the parade. And then Grayson came home from school and he had a goodie bag and said he had an awesome time, was telling me he played games and they had snacks and they d had a bat dance that they did. I don't know. But both kids had a great day at school celebrating Halloween. They are so excited for trick or treat tonight. They're so excited that their aunts and uncles and grandparents are coming over. It's fun that I'm the oldest and, well, I was the only one with kids. I guess now my sister has her baby, but she's just little, little, but they are bringing her tonight. Um, but it's nice because everybody always just comes to my house to do trick-or-treating. The kids, they there's not enough people that have kids and the kids aren't old enough that everybody's kind of doing trick-or-treat on their own. So it's fun to all get together and do trick-or-treat together. So I'm excited. It's going to be cold. So we'll see how long we last. And like, do we really need more candy? You know, not, not really. So I would be fine with not doing it, but the kids are excited and it's a once a year thing. Although we do go trick or treating several times in the month of October, but that's all right. Got to get used to all of those costumes, right? So, um, I'll pull out the camera again, maybe during the party or definitely during trick or treating. I'm so excited for it. Um, we did order pizza, so that is coming. I'm very excited for that because I've been running around. I haven't really had a chance to eat today. Today has been the most chaotic day. I did not realize it was going to be so busy until like this morning when I was going through all the activities in my head and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so stressed. So as you can hear, like the dishwasher is going. I'm trying to clean my house as much as I can. Avery's napping. The boys, thankfully, are playing down in the basement, although I know I'm going to kick myself later because they're Odds are they're just making a huge mess in the basement, but that's all right. It's quiet up here. I can kind of just like work in peace, try to clean up. It's mostly just like putting away junk. The kids love to bring up toys from the basement and just leave them all over the main floor. And then I have to, I'm the one that ends up having to clean it. So that's what I've been doing today is just trying to clean, put things away, declutter. So it doesn't look so messy when people come over. But I hope you all are having a great Halloween. Um, let me know down below what your kids are dressing up for this year. I've seen a lot, of, at Porter School at least, I've seen a lot of um, Donkey Kong, which kind of surprised me. Um, some Mario, we've seen a lot of unicorns, a lot of like bumblebees or butterflies. So it's interesting to see what is popular, but I definitely think Mario is probably one of the more popular um, costumes this year. This is 